Oh man, I want to put this on everything. I was not expecting that, to be honest. There's been a ton of positive love for this compressor, but it almost seems too good to be true. So I'm going to put it through my paces today with vocals, bass, a few different settings. See how well this hot rodded LA-2A can handle it. Hey, I'm John. I'm a traveling pop producer out in Austin, Texas right now. So glad to be here. And quick disclaimer, Yes, they gave me a subscription because I do some work with them. But one thing I've really made clear on this channel is that I do not rely on brand partnerships or affiliate links or anything to pay my bills. This is because I believe in a company and I want to give them an honest review. And that is how I come into this. So let's just take a listen to the chorus here. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality away. Wow, whose song is that? Always be plugging. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do is test it on this vocal, which I use a lot of Slate Digital to mix down. So they gave us ratio control as well as some speed so we can actually vary the attack and release. Obviously an output and some tone variations, which is really cool. And a blend. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I have Sorry, I've actually not played with this yet. I dried it up. And we have this guy here. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality away. That's the old cut. That's just how I had mixed it prior. And then now I have a new one here. I used the FG Stress and a Monster Slate Compressors. So it's not like I, I'm leaving company affiliations out here. But let's see what happens when we use the Hot Rod because... It is. I'm falling on it's why we're here right now. So I took off all the compressors. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality away. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality away. First impression, it handles those transients really, really well. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality away. Like that is taking a ton. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality away. That's really smoothing things out. I didn't expect it to be that transparent off the I'm gate. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality away. Wow, I don't even know if I'm gonna use the second one. All right, let's see what happens then. I'm gonna try using some of these different things here. Let's try the aggro. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality away. Compared to Aerie? I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality. Oh, like a, yeah, a little bit more lift away. there compared to warm. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality. Can feel the low end boost. Away. I like the aggro. I'm falling Let's crank on it up. anxiety, swiping my reality. Away. Ooh, that sounds falling kind of back, but that might be perfect for this. So let's just see what happens. This is the situation before custom opto on the vocal in context. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality. Oh. Here's just one instance of custom opto. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality. Oh, hey. Okay, like playing it back to back, it sounds insanely different. Now, I want to dissect. <laughs> I want to dissect that because I think it's really interesting. So what I hear on what I had before this is my own song too, is it's always funny when you go back to like, oh man, I want to put this on everything. But that's why we're here is I had these two compressors going and it was a lot of games. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality away. I had a pretty aggressive distressor going and you could feel how aggressive it is along with some parallel smashed vocal for sustain and body. But it is definitely a little tubby feeling, a little too much at times. Whereas the way that the hot rod sits in is it's doing a great job at pushing everything down, but I don't feel the ducking overpowering at any moment, at least on that default setting. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality away. Old? I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality away. And I really just love how nice uh, that's compressing the vocal there. That was honestly easier than I thought. Two clicks in, it's perfect. Kyle Beats is lurking in the chat now. Oh, my cat. Holy sh... So here's my old 808. And let's try to do the same thing. I had no compression on this before. I know, tisk tisk.
So you can hear. You can hear that the attack and release are a lot faster than here. I think I like that, but not as much squishing. Wow, might be able to handle Nate away pretty good too. Let's see if you go warm and then. Nah, I'm good. The smooth is nice. I like that. Aggro. It like totally features different parts of the 808. I was not expecting that to be honest. I think I like the aggro on this too. I mean, let's, so just even doing that really quick, check this out. So the before base was this. The new base with custom opto. Oh, it's gonna be freaking huge in the mix. All right, check this out. So I'm gonna switch back every two bars. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality away. No company, no misery, just don't check my mental health. Okay, I think it's a little overdone, so we're gonna pull back the mix knob because I like the feel of it, but maybe it's just too much overall squish. So I prefer to blend in once I like the character it's adding with the un uncompressed, it feels a lot more natural for me. So here it is without, and I'm gonna do switch it over two bars. I'm falling on anxiety, swiping my reality away. No company, no misery, just don't check my mental health grade. All right, so to give final thoughts on this compressor, I think this is a really important takeaway before you go and use this yourself. The first thing is it does a great job handling huge dynamics in source material. like. The amount of gain reduction on the 808 and on the vocal was really, really intense, but it handled it gracefully. Second thing being that I am really impressed with the tone knob functions and that kind of overdriving of the tone, because a lot of times people, I look at compression as a dynamic function, but it's also a coloring function because when we increase the density of a portion of frequency ranges, it changes our perceived EQ balance of it. I can go to the area and I can just have extra little options that are right at my fingertips to grab instead of having to open up other plugins and things like that. Third is just, it works really well with just those standard settings. I started both of these with speed and ratio set where they were and just getting gain reduction and I could have moved on. And of course you take it further and you can easily take it further and dial it in however you want. For somebody like me, who's a traveling pop producer, having the flexibility to go where I want, have these plugins in, it takes care of so much of my sonic needs. I know I have a vested interest in you guys going and doing stuff with them, but that's my true, this is what I use every single day kind of vision about it. So thanks so much for your time today. Get out there, work hard, and remember, you're just one song away. Cheers.